Last one, y'all. This is part 22 of the Spirit of Fruits. It's just a prayer, okay? You can touch the most high body, okay? My daughters want me to lose this. I'm going to lose it, okay? Prayer to the Spirit of Fruits. I mean, people tell me it breaks, okay? It makes sense to them, okay? Pray to the Spirit of Fruits. Even to the babies, the kids, you're going to understand this shit. Holy Spirit, you are the promised Spirit of Fruits. Constantly revealing the splendor of fruits to your people and leading us deeper into the mysteries of our faith. See? Well, this is, I did write this, but still. Come to us today and deepen in our minds and hearts the fruit of our life. Its greatness, its dignity, its reflection of the eternal God, the real one, makes us appreciate ever more the fruit that life is always that good and that every life is of equal dignity. Despite all the different characteristics people have or the different circumstances under which they come to be, come, spirit of food, free all your people from the falsehoods that lead to the evil of abortion. Okay, my daughters, that's what you call an abortion. Um, mainly kids, kids, you know what me to say? Food, because there's nothing left for kids, okay? Um, only reason why I know she did because I just know. You just know. Free them from the false and harmful ideas which make a God out of their own choices or which fail to recognize the right to life of children in the womb. Come, O Holy Spirit, and as you immerse us in your fruit, so make us effective witnesses of the fruit within our families, among our friends, and to all the world. Amen.